In stage 39 of Build Your Own Robbie of Pack 11, we get the charger and there's nothing to do in this stage, so keep the charger safely ready for future use. In stage 40 of Build Your Own Robbie, you get the rear hip panel and you also get the power distribution board. Once again, there's nothing to construct in this stage, so put these parts aside ready for future use. In stage 41, you get the CPU board support, the servo removal tool, the power cord and M2 5mm and 4mm pan head screws. Now, you're going to need the saved parts from previous stages and that includes the rear hip panel and the power distribution board. You're also going to need the battery and the charger and also some protective pads. Okay, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be connecting up the power cord to the hip by making sure that's in the right position and then once that's in that position, use a couple of the five millimeter pan head screws to secure that into place. So take a screwdriver and carefully screw those down into position. Get that to stick on the end. Okay, once again, do not over tighten the screws, just nip them up. Do not over tighten. Okay, do that with the other one. Like so. Okay, next, we're going to take the power distribution and take one of the small little pads and just notice in, in your instructions we're going to place that these over the rear of the connections like so so we do that three times just to make sure those connections are protected. Okay, as we got there, and then once we've done that, we're then going to want to take the connector, making sure that it goes into CN1, which is connector one and then just carefully push that down into position until that clicks. Once you've done that, we then take the battery and then that goes into CN3, which connect to three. Once again, plug that into position, okay? And then take your charger Plug that into the back and then using a Euro plug, plug this into your mains so that you're charging the battery, okay? And wait until 
the light on the back. Okay, goes green. Once that's charged, which will take anything about 20 minutes for the first charge, every subsequent charge will take about an hour. Once that's charged, then obviously disconnect your charge and your battery. Okay, like so. All right, and carefully store those for future use. In stage 42, we get the test SD card. Once again, nothing to do in this stage, but make sure that the SD card stays in its protective case, and then put that aside, ready for a future stage.